Hey, this is Kenneth, and today we are playing with an Optiplex FX160, which is an old thin client box. And one of my friends gave me like 12 of them. Um, and I've been trying to figure out what to do with them. But the problem is, if you look inside of them, they don't come with the 2.5 inch SSD or you know hard drive bracket. And they only have a 1 gigabyte SATA flash disk. So it's like, it's a flash chip, and then it actually has the SATA interface here. But the problem is, it's only one gigabyte, and you can't really fit operating systems on one gigabyte that are very useful. Um, or like, the installers tend to not like to install on there. And so, with a ton of help from one of my friends at Gandhi, and all the credits for all of this and the citations will be in a blog post I write later, but I have now managed to, I realized that on the one gigabyte flash disk, that is enough to load IPXE, which is a network-based boot ROM. And so if we turn this on, I have a custom image of IPXE with a script embedded in it. And so the box itself runs IPXE off the internal disk, which then automatically requests a DHCP lease. And then I've taken Debian and run the bootstrap and packed the entire root file system into an init RAM file system. And again, with Gandhi, with my buddy, my friend's help, um, written an init that never remounts a local file system, but just stays in the init RAM file system the whole time and so i've got it it's currently like the actual operating system is requesting a dhcp lease and it's now online and so this is now an entire linux box running entirely from ram and if i want it to update the image on it i just reboot it um because the only thing here is an ipxc firmware with a url of the init ram image that's on my file. That's on, that's on my web server. Um, so yeah, more documentation about this to come, but that's pretty neat.